guys, it's Julesy and it is Smart Brown Girl Thursday where we talk about important issues that impact women of color and obviously we have a very significant issue happening right now as I speak and because of that my video might not get up until Friday, so my apologies if this is a day late, but I feel like it is my duty to not just be active in talking and raising awareness, but also to be active in the streets. So I didn't originally think I was going to have to do a full video on this because I did mention it in my most recent pop snark about how personal and how infuriating and I just didn't have the words to kind of speak towards my overwhelming sadness with this situation but the more I see the video the dash cam the more reports the more information the more we talk about it the more I just feel compelled that I honestly can't go on laughing and giggling and talking about all the other snarky and witty things I like to talk about all the shallow shit without addressing the veracity of the situation that is happening right now with Sandra Bland because I honestly just it just hurts my heart so much I'm just I don't I don't have anything eloquent to say about this but when I was watching the dash cam video when police officer Brian Asina I believe is his name follows Sandra down a street in Waller County close to Prairie View A&M sped up behind her so she got over and as soon as she gets over he then pulls her over for ch switching lanes without signaling which yes is illegal but we all do it. Ever since watching that dash cam video, I, I promise you, I've been 200% more alert about signaling when I switch lanes. I mean, but honestly, I've been in that situation before where a cop has been behind me. They're right on my tail. I feel like they're trying to get over. And then I, I don't know, did I get over without or without signaling? I don't remember. I just remember I feel like I urgently needed to get over because the cop was right up on me and obviously they have somewhere to go. And then to watch him provoke her, hearing... Sandra talk, I realized what her mistake was, what her offense was, and it just broke me down so much because the only mistake that Sandra made in dealing with the police officer, Asina, was believing that she was a human being and that there were certain dignity and constitutional rights at a bare minimum that she held as a human being residing in the land of the democratically free United States of America and her belief in her humanness so attacked Asina's ego that he felt the need to then provoke the situation aggressively, demand her to get out of her car, pull a taser on her, and then pull her out of her car and deride and derail any sort of constitutional right she had as a human being and arrest her for resisting arrest without ever actually afford, informing her what she was under arrest for. It just is mind-blowing because as I hear Sandra currently, shortly, with a little bit of attitude, with a certain tone, with a certain irritation, what is legally known as contempt of cop, where verbally, you verbally or tonally, you are irritated with the cop and so you basically, in so many words, let them know and it's not illegal, it's not a reason to be put in jail, it's just a term because we have the right to free speech in our constitution in the United States of America. His ego was so overwhelming that it eroded any rights that Sandra had as a human. And to hear her talk, I just heard so much of myself in the way she spoke to him. Like I was, I've been in that exact situation. Like, Specifically, this hurts so much because as black women, we've all been in these situations where someone feels like we are not addressing them properly because we are black women. This is directly connected to you being out somewhere, you being upset and it's showing on your face and somebody telling you to smile. At what point does my upsetness cross over into being illegal? At what point does my upsetness at being as an adult give anybody the right to tell me how to respond or act? But before we even get to how her death and her murder is being handled, does that even give him the right to put her under arrest? To get into the whole, her supposed suicide. I've seen the video of her jail. I've looked at the mugshot. It's just fishy. The, the report, the trying to demean and disseminate her character and her humanness is just so infuriating to me. And this is all happening an hour away 
from where I live. All because my body and my being is not respected as a black person and then on top of it as a black woman. It is just... And as much as I want to address this to the simple-minded ass white folk, between Waller County judicial system, the police system, and the white people that are consistently in the comments trying to put blame on Sandra, who will sit here and cry about their right, the state's right, their right to bear arms as a constitutional right, their right to wave the Confederate flag, but then they want to entirely demean the rights of black people because we have a certain tone in our voice. I don't even have no more nice, polite, or kind words to say to that. The unfortunate part is it's just not white people feeding into this. I need everyone to realize the gravity of this whether you consider yourself black or minority or a person of color or not i had to call my mother as soon as this story broke and say that if i ever ever happens to me in police custody please do not be silent i want you to raise all hell i don't want anyone to even feel comfortable enough ignoring what is happening right now i want everyone to feel the discomfort that we all feel as black people and black women as we try to change a system for them to use her openness and want in raising awareness about depression and anxiety and use that against her it's so infuriating that something like my want to help and raise awareness on a topic would then be used against me as if something is so intricately wrong with my own desire to live. Sandra Bland is on trial for having the gall as a black woman to believe that she was human. It hurts my entire being from the top down and all I can encourage my smart brown girls to do is to keep talking, keep pushing, keep making people uncomfortable because we do not need to exist in this world of uncomfortableness just for the sanctimony of white people and those minorities who feel the need to hold on to respectability politics. Say her name, raise that awareness, and pay your respects to the legacy of Sandra Bland. For the ones who want to get on my page talking about all lives matter, show me in American history where all lives have mattered. Show me where there has been liberty and justice for all. Like that um, fucking Pledge of Allegiance we love to say. Excuse my French because Sandy Speaks don't usually cuss. White people, if all lives mattered, would there need to be a hashtag for black lives mattering? Think about that. I am into building up my kings and queens. So for me, black lives matter. And then subset all lives matter. Take it or leave it. Sandy Speaks.